everyone know we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we got some Resident Evil 7 DLC to play. So, I've got the season pass for Resident Evil 7, so I have all of the DLC, and I'll be getting all of the DLC that comes out in December, so I kind of wanted to get at least the story DLC um, out of the way. I might do a joke stuff on the Jack's 55th birthday one, I haven't decided yet, but I kind of wanted to start with the Daughters DLC, because that's the one that I've heard the most about, and... It, I've seen that it's roughly about a half an hour long, so we should be fine recording it. Maybe. So let's play Daughters. The Daughters DLC for Resident Evil 7, where you play as lovely Zoe here. Rainstorm at the Baker Farm. Three years ago, the Bakers were like any other family. They just finished family dinner, listening to raindrops hammering against the window panes as they ate. A moment of peace and quiet. Their last for some time. This game is gorgeous, guys. Look at that modeling of... Um, little Zoe here. You can see the individual hairs on the back of her neck. They've come a long way from the days of Pong. Oh my god, my bunnies are cuddling right now. They are so cute. For those who don't know, I have rabbits. If I don't gush about them enough in my videos already, and if you don't watch my live streams because they're in all of my live streams. But... Daughters, last night spent with my real family. Recording by Zoe. In today's top news, it's a real person. That's not a video. That's not a. Looking to come to a close tomorrow morning. That's not in game rendered. Moves on. Out in the Gulf, reports of a missing ship have rescue crews combing the coast. We'll have the details on that search shortly. But first, record rain over the past few days has left many residents in some of the parishes knee-deep in floodwaters. I wonder where they got we this footage from. The, along the real to footage. The like, the the flooding. As it goes. And by tomorrow morning, we should be home Any news on the damage from the storm? Here. <laughs> no more real-life footage. <laughs> now I just in game record. And this is... Open up. Oh my god, it's good, Marguerite! It's it's not crazy, Marguerite. Holy shit, Lucas doesn't look like a tool. Well, he still looks kind of, kind of like a tool. Oh, she's so uh -oh. young. Yeah, how's all the guests? Sleeping, poor thing. Yeah, Evelyn? Let him. He'll be okay here for a few days. At least was till we can get him into town. Zoe, go get some fresh clothes from the laundry room, okay? Oh, looks like there's some sort of oil yeah. spill or something. Yes. Let's get this poor girl some fresh clothes and into a warm bed. Mm. We'll put her in Lucas's old room. Oh, come on, kid, you put her somewhere else? Oh, Lucas, you just hush. You long outgrown. But you text him, bro. Always want to run a bed and breakfast. But you text him, bro. Break, didn't you? <laughs> get but her to bed. Bro. Um, I'm stuck. I I'm stuck. I'm stuck by Lucas. Oh God, I got stuck. For soup, don't you think? Excuse me, Lucas. I like this Marguerite. This Marguerite's nice. Lucas, what you text him? What you text him? Lucas, what you text him? Wait a minute. 1019. If I know my Resident Evil, and I do, I definitely know my Resident Evil. I think I need to write that down. Um, do I have a pen? Pen? Huh? Ah, this will work. Hurry up and get her some clothes before she gets that shit all over my old room. Shut the fuck up, Lucas. I don't care. Always copy down codes in Resident Evil games. There's a change of clothes in the room, dear. Oh, she's so nice. Look at her. She looks so nice. Oh, she's gonna turn to an absolute jackass soon. Okay. So I'm gonna be searching. See if I can find something. Cause I feel like I should find a something. Garage. Is there anything important in this garage? As if. I'm going exploring. This soap seems sturdy. I will keep that in mind. There's some tackle boxes. See, I know enough Resident Evil that you never want to go directly to where you get told to go. Because that is generally a terrible idea. Also, Evelyn. <laughs> also, my dad's probably insane already. Let's, let's be honest here. We never really, we're probably never going to get to see Jack, it is 100% wholesome. 
game, could you not? So I'm assuming nobody's crazy and chasing me yet. This is an upstairs laundry. Oh, hey! It's not wrecked! Um, wait, what's this? Is that my cell phone? Oh, no, it's a lighter. I feel like I should have that... here. Um... Map, there we go. So that's the yard, main hall, laundry room, so it wants me to go to the laundry room. But I want to go exploring! <laughs> I like exploring. Because we've never seen this house when it's not completely wrecked. It's interesting to see. Okay, kids' room, that's where... We're... Okay, fuck it, I'll go get the laundry! <laughs> mm, be, I'll behave... maybe... Hey, at least I can still run for days. Place still looks really gross. F. To do, nail up some plywood, call the glass people later, Lucas's birthday present, power tool. That's silly about it. Aww. Okay! Right. Can I go in here to get to the creepy old house? I wanna go in here to get to the creepy old house because I figured that this would have not been here all creepy like. But it is. So I wanna check it out because I know the game wants me to get the clothes. But I do know there's a good and a bad ending to this game. And I want to leave my options open. Because I know enough to know about video games that if you have multiple endings, and if you search everything high and low and get every single thing you possibly can, then, you know, you're most likely going to get the good ending. Hey, lock it. Cool. Got lock pick. I'm out again. Oh. I'm back in the kitchen. Uh, or the pantry. Why wouldn't they fix that in the- Because I always figured that all of this decrepitiness and crawl spaciness happened after the bakers lost their brains, but I guess it happened beforehand. Which only makes- doesn't really make too much sense. you think they would have fixed some of this. Or not. Okay, I'll grab some clothes for the little one. I got some clothes. Yay! Hopefully nothing goes completely... Batch it! <laughs> so this is locked. Oh, yes, I was exploring more. Don't judge me. And I know the lockpick means open thing. Got a small component. Cool. I'm gonna search every single room before we go to Evelyn's, I swear to god. Because bad things happen when you go to Evelyn. Bad things always happen when you go to Evelyn. Bad things always happen when you go to Evelyn. Who the hell keeps an armless, headless, freaking statue? That's silly. Nothing. Nothing. Why is there a door boarded up? Okay, this is a terrible idea. Let's go into the kids' room. Honey, please get Hi, Dad. cleaned up and into some dry clothes. I need to check on the boathouse. It was half underwater last I looked. Yes, Daddy. Yeah, because this is going to end well. Bitch, I ain't going near you! <laughs> I ain't going near you! There's something there that I can use. Can I use the clothes on it? <laughs> can I use my lighter on it? Okay, can I use the small component? I ain't going near you. I ain't going near you. You turn into a creepy old lady. Nope. Not doing it. Going to look at everything but Evelyn. Oh great, more creepy headless armless statues. Excellent, brilliant, wonderful. <laughs> Bowling ball. Why does he have a meth lab up here? Chemistry set? It's probably not a meth lab, let's be honest. And Zoe, I told you to keep your dirty hands off my laptop, dum dum. Oh, you're just jealous of my hacker skills. This is what you get for using the same password for your phone and computer, you dipshit. <laughs> Aww, Zoe's a hacker. Wait a minute. I do it. 
I knew it! I knew there was a freaking reason why he was showing us a code. Resident Evil never shows you a code unless you want to use it. Unless you use it. Uh, what was it? 1019. Enter. The fuck you list. The old man slapped me right in the face for shaking my phone during dinner. Rude. I can't say one word about Mama's cooking without getting yelled at. Rude. All I did was look at Zoe when she was doing yoga and she calls me a pervert. Well, I mean... <laughs> Rude. Old man got drunk and started throwing all my crap in that red box out in the veranda. I probably need to go there then, don't I? Keep thinking Evelyn's just gonna be standing up the second I turn around. Nope. Can I leave? What's a veranda? Veranda! Nope. Nope! Aw, <laughs> oh, what?! Okay, fine, game. Fuck you too. Hi, Evelyn! How are you? Here's some clothes. All right, little girl. Let's get you cleaned up. They're mine now. What? <gasps> and you wonder why nobody likes you. She wonders. Daddy, is the power out? Was there a latinance track? Maybe. So I need to get to the veranda. Those are the only two entrances to the veranda that I can see. So I'm gonna have to wait until something breaks it! Great. Okay, I'm not going that way. This is gonna end well. Daddy! Oh, dear. There's a light. This door is open. I wonder where the game wants me to go. Hey! Right. The nails look loose. Knock it down. Knock it down. What? What? Look loose. So can I use something on the nails? I mean, no. I feel like the game let me in here for a reason, but I do see how we're going to get out onto the veranda now. Daddy, hope you can pick something. Up. Oh, rope. That's probably where we have to use the rope later. Daddy, where'd that little girl get to? Bathroom. Not in the bathroom. Um, what was that? This seems like a bad. This seems very much like a bad. Daddy. Um, Lucas. Prosky. Lucas? What happened? Are you okay? How did the girl overpower the big boy? I don't know. Magic. I'm gonna try. What the hell's going on? Marguerite? Hey guys, let's go get beat up by Marguerite. What do you say? Mama? Is that you? Marguerite? Are you crazy now? Come look. Come see her gift. Look at all the pretties my little girl is giving me! Yeah! Mama's crazy! Come kiss me, lover! Daddy! Get to the garage! Get some rope! Go! Now! 
Yeah, and by the time it... Dad's gone insane, y'all. Well, I mean, Mom's gone insane first, first, but Dad's probably gonna go insane very shortly after. So here's the big old nice car. I knew I was gonna need this fucking rope. I knew I was gonna need this rope, and I'm probably not gonna be able to use it on my mother. Daddy! Daddy, Mama's lost her brain. Daddy! Stop trying to drown her! It's kind of rude! Don't look! Don't be it! Don't you worry! It's a whole lot worse than it looks! Cleanliness is next to godliness, and your mom is pretty fucking close to meeting him right now! That's rude! She wants me to do this! Whoa! I have to show her how to hold him! She wants us all to show her our love! Daddy! Well, you don't disappoint her now, do you? We can't do that. What are you talking about? Your little sister, Eve. She's crazy. Oh no. When I ask for rope, I expect to oh, get no. a rope. I brought rope. You listen. I brought rope, asshole. Daddy, it's gotten into you. While you're under my roof, you'll do as I say. Nope. <laughs> I find a way out. Um. Well, obviously it's over here. I'm loose. Get away! Um, 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 um. Uh, you can't keep me out. Bullshit, I can't. Stop it! Oh, that's scaring me. Oh, I can can we not? Daddy's gone insane. <laughs> I'll hook and I'll fucking fuck. Oh, Daddy. shut up. Fork! What are you afraid of? <laughs> I can pry the nails off of the fork. Hi, Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! Stop it! Please! <laughs> oh, that was fucking rude. She's waiting for you. Is that game over? No, no, it wasn't. Stop! Stop! Why are you doing this? Yo, what's the matter, honey? Don't you want to play with your new sister? <laughs> Can we not? Oh, that I failed. Okay. So it is an insta death. Great. Good to know. So I'll run straight to the fork, because we ain't got a lot of time. When I ask um, for rope, I expect to get rope. Don't give a shit. You listen. Daddy! It's gone into you! Don't give a shit! You're under my roof, you'll do as I say. So it's time. Good to know. Find a way out. Good to know, it's time. Zoe! Open the Hell no! Get away! Come on! Hell no, I can't! Get out! I'm hiding. I'm scared. My daddy's crazy. Uh oh. Lucas is getting dragged. I repeat, Lucas is getting dragged. Gotta double check. Nothing here, because this area seems relatively safe. I mean, relatively. Nothing here. Got some plants. Hopefully, my mom is not gonna go insane. Well, they're both insane already. Let's be honest here. And Lucas is also insane. Everybody's insane. Okay. I 
get out of here. Yeah, yeah, you do. Everybody does. Uh oh. Evelyn called me mommy. Ain't that sweet? Shut up. Okay, where's she going? Where's she going? You're gonna have a little sister, Zoe. I don't want a little sister. She's so evil. and books and a, the front door because she stayed in the trailer in the yard okay so because she stayed in the trailer in the yard I should be able to use the dog's head relief on the front door shut up mom so we have to sneak past mom You have to sneak past mom, use the dog's head relief, and get the hell out of here into the front area. And then run away, maybe? So the dance party? She's literally been here for like five minutes, mom. Um, but please, please stay over there. Have a little sister, Zoe. I don't want a little sister, Mom. Come out and meet her, Zoe. I don't wanna. I already did meet her. She's kind of creepy, and I don't like her. Okay, you just stay up there. I'm going to go over here. I'm gonna use a thing. On this door. Let me out, let me out, let me out right now, let me out, let me out, let me out right now. Bye, Mom! So, in the main game, Zoe was living here, and I think I may have stumbled onto the, the, re the, the true DLC, the true ending, the good ending, I guess. But, because I remember there's something about the good ending mentioned in the trailer, but this is where I live! Well, not yet, but I. Uh, Mia! Mia! Uh, ah, uh, it's the D-Series head. Hi. The Baker family, thank you for saving my life, but please forget all about me. I was assigned to transport some important cargo on that ship. Getting involved with me or that cargo can only cause trouble for your family. Big trouble. Please don't contact the police or state authorities, but just pretend we never met. And you saved me, so take this advice in return. If you see a girl near the ship who looks about ten years old, do not approach her. If she talks to you, get away as quickly as you can. Just try not to make her angry in the process. If you've been feeling ill at all, then I'm afraid the worst may have already happened. It's a fate worse than death, and it can't be cured at a hospital. I'm so sorry. There's a way to stop it, though. Serum, if you inject, stop the symptom- Oh, dear. That's the text of to make out. <laughs> hi, Evelyn. <laughs> hi, Evelyn. Yeah, I was gonna say hi, Evelyn. 
How you doing? And now everything's normal, right? No. I think I fell asleep. Well, well, now, look who has decided to join us. Wake up and smell the shitty coffee, Zoe. Lucas. You okay, dear? There was a lot of excitement from that storm last night. I'm fine. I, I had the weirdest dream last night. There was this little girl. Well, now, after breakfast, uh, Lucas and I are going to have a look around and see if the storm did any damage. You two should have a look around the house in the same. That's a good idea. Evelyn? You remember the last hurricane. <laughs> we thought we were lucky. And the next time it rained, there was a mess for sure. <laughs> Hello, sister. Hi, Evelyn. You're creepy. I don't like you. Well, I guess that's how we met and talked to me about how we're going to get out of this mess. Now Zoe's mundane life has become a struggle for survival. She will spend her days slipping through the grasp of her now insane family, searching for the serum that Mia spoke, Mia spoke of in her letter. The nights are marked by the family's murderous feasts, and Evelyn's body deteriorates as, month go, as months go by. Eventually, Zoe will encounter Ethan, her best hope at finding the serum, but she has a long way to go before that day. Three years! That would suck! Is she eating, like, the creepy, crawly food that the family makes? Because what is she... Since she can't leave the farm, what is she eating for sustenance? Unless they have, like... Unless she's, like, farming. Unless she's farming crops or something. Uh, press F to continue. Is that it? Ah, oh, there we go. Achievement unlocked. One instinct. Survival. So there we go. That's the Daughter's DLC. I do... I know it has two endings, but I don't think I'm going to do the other one. Because... It's about time for me to go to bed. But maybe we'll see. I don't know. For the moment, we just got this one. So I think that was the good ending and the canon ending. But we still got three other little DLCs to do before the two awesome DLCs that everybody's been waiting for. Well, I say awesome, but we don't know that they're awesome. But we get to play as Chris Redfield and we get to play as Zoe some more, I'm sure. But that comes in December, so we got three more DLCs to do before that. My name is Ms. Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Resident Evil 7 Daughters DLC, and I will see you all in another Let's Play.